na play what yako kama vas tell him siwezi kuparara ni na vas daily ni na good news kwa new testament si lazima welcome my viewer we are continuing with our series uh, how to develop a, a, a lasting relationship with God. We are looking at the subject today, working righteousness. Or how to develop a lasting relationship with God by working righteousness. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter number 10 and verse number 34 to 35, Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of the truth I perceive, that God is no respecter of persons, but in every nation, he that feareth him and worketh righteousness is accepted with him. Peter here, he was speaking at Cornelius' house. He had gone there to preach the gospel, not because he had planned to go, but because a few days before, Cornelius had seen an angel in a vision at around 3 p.m. He was in prayer. Then an angel of God appeared unto him. And he said unto him, send uh, some people to Joppa, to Peter. And when he comes, he will tell you what you should do, you should do so that you and your household may be saved. And so Cornelius sent some men to go and look for Peter. At the same time, Peter had fallen into a trance and he had seen as an object that was lowered from heaven and in, in that object, there were all manner of reptiles and animals and uh, he was told, kill and eat. Then he said, no, these things are not clean. Then he was told, whatever I have uh, uh, cleansed, you should not call it unclean. Then he never knew what was the meaning of the vision until the Lord spoke unto him and told him, there are some men looking for you. Go down and go together with them and don't doubt anything because I have sent them. So he went to Cornelius' place. And then as he began to preach, the Holy Spirit went ahead of him and actually entered into those men who are listening to him. Remember, they were Gentiles. And in those days, the Gentiles were not considered as part of the people who should receive the gospel. Just in the same way, the people are in sin, draggers. People are living their own kind of life. They, 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 people have classified some groups as people are not supposed to be, you know, factored when we go for evangelism. But I want to tell you this. Everybody is entitled to receive from God. Even you, in your situation, you are entitled to receive the blessing of God. If only you can just come to him. And so in this uh, uh, time, Peter is saying, I perceive that God is not a respecter of persons. But in all nations, those who work righteousness are accepted of him. Of course, the righteousness of God is a gift from God. We are given a gift of righteousness when we accept Jesus Christ into our lives. Then we begin to work righteousness. If you are fighting people, you stop it. And you begin to forgive people. If you are calling people, you begin to be faithful. And you begin to assist people. If you are going out there and you are living a life of sin, you begin to live a life of righteousness, a life of right standing with God. You stop the things that you have been doing and you come to a place where you strive, you try, you give yourself to the spirit of God, the spirit of grace, which will enable you to live a righteous life and you become acceptable to God and the Lord will bless you. That is one way you develop a lasting relationship with God. Let us pray together and call upon God that he will give you a lasting relationship as you work righteousness 
from wherever you are now. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, I release my view unto your power and unto the gift of righteousness that as they walk out and begin to walk righteousness from wherever they are, they shall begin to see you and see your power even in Jesus' mighty name. Go and see the favor that will cause you to maintain your relationship with the Lord in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you and do you well. You are blessed. Na play what yako kama vas Tell him siwezi kuparara ni na vas Daily ni na good news kwa new testament si